Good evening, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody's doing all right, and I hope your weekend went well. And I hope your week, this week, is prosperous, productive, and you know what I'm saying? I hope you just have a great week overall. So, welcome to Hood Action News. We're your hosts. I'm Gigi. I'm Eve. And tonight, we're going to talk about Blueface. Actually, hold on. Krishan and Blue Balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're gonna talk about tonight because oh my god this is this is a hot mess hot mess overall so oh, oh man over the past couple of months well actually let's just let's put it this way since last year since these two got together it's been just absolute utter chaos there there's been nothing but chaos there has been no calm nothing it's just recklessness these two have dropped tapes of them in these various um situations um doing things and all types of stuff and i'm just like jesus christ um yeah if you don't know what's going on let's let's put it this way so Blueface made this song called Tatiana, which was absolutely horrible. Went viral for it, got famous for it. It was just, it's horrible. The man can't rap. He can't rap. He has no skills. He's basically um, a light-skinned version of the Kardashians. He has nothing going for him. Basically, he made a show like um, Bad Girls Club where he had all these girls in his house and basically he's a he's a crip so all his house is in crip colors and he had all these girls come in his house fight for his love get they name his name tattooed on them which was stupid by the way like ain't no way I just <laughs> they all look like a fool Creshawn was one of the ones that gravitated to him the most and stuff like that and well Eventually, they got together. And let me just be honest. They are doing nothing but trauma bonding because Krishan mama is a crackhead. Her daddy got issues. And then Blueface mama basically wants to, excuse my language, wants to fuck her son. She has an Oedipus complex with her son because the things that she says is very questionable and disgusting. Like, girl, stop. You are too old to be doing this. Like, every girl he's with, it's always something that she has to say coming out of her mouth. And then the baby mama, it's just a whole mess. And, um, like, last year, they were on this radio show. Some shit happened. They had to escort her out. It was awful. And then she found out she was pregnant. I'm like, okay, sis, congratulations. Maybe you can stop drinking and smoking. And she has stopped drinking. She stopped smoking. Like when you hear her speak, you can tell that she ain't been smoking or drinking because her voice is clear. Um, well, recently some things have popped off and some things have been said. And um, he has said some very disgusting things. I'm going to play a clip of what he recently just said trigger warning um viewer discretion is advised this man is sick um, she shouldn't even yeah. hint to that abortion she shouldn't even let a nigga know that was on her membrane and yeah because now i'm finna make the bitch go insane into the baby right. so basically what he's saying is that he's gonna make this girl go crazy to the point where she has a miscarriage because he doesn't want to claim the baby and um, recently on one of her tweets, I'm, I'm re I just read this tweet and I, it broke my heart. She said, she said, don't feel bad for me. I'm going to shake this off for real. Plus I'm grown. I did this to myself. At least she took accountability and understood that this is what she got herself into this. She got herself into Me this. Up. So, oh, Lord Jesus, what, you, what, what do you think about it, sis? I think it's just truly foul. Like, first, your Blue Falls was acting like he didn't, he wasn't a baby daddy and things like that. And then he gone backtracking like, well, it's an 80% chance that it is mine. So she need to go to the chop shop or I'm just going to keep bugging her and things like that. I'm like, okay, like you trash. You the one who was having unprotected sex with her and then she ended up pregnant. The thing is, this ain't the first time. This is just the first one she's keeping. Mm -hmm. And 
you've been doing it over and over again, not using protection, getting this girl pregnant. If you didn't want to have a baby with her, you shouldn't be sleeping with her, number one. Mm -hmm. And number two is like, bro, you try to act like she's nothing. You the one who needs her because otherwise people won't be paying attention to you. People haven't been paying attention to you since Tatiana. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Mm-hmm. And just like, if you hate her that much, why are you around her? Because you this pure trash. You want somebody to fight with. You want someone to pour your evil and negativity into like a toxic ass nigga that you are. And I just can't stand that type of stuff. Like like she said, she's grown. She understands that this is her decision, but she's trying to make better decisions at least. And here you are just trying to ruin all that. This, this guy is just a piece of work and a piece of shit all together. Him, his toxic ass mama, and his family, especially his mama, they can all go to hell. They can all go to hell. Because his mama don't make it no better. His his mama really don't make it no better. I'm like, what is your problem? You, She's a bigger... She's one of the biggest problems with him. Because she's one of them women. And, and there's a lot of black mothers that do this to their sons. That basically mm-hmm. want to basically fuck their own son because they don't want nobody else to have them. Like, you really need to admit that, lady, because that's what it feels like to me. And it's fucking disgusting and it's just wrong and you got issues. That whole family needs some therapy. Krishan needs it, but they need it. They need it. And if she feels that, I think you need to go ahead and just date your mama at this point because this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm sick. Just sick altogether. And what makes me mad about this situation is that even before he met Krishan, he he was trash. He was trash. Because he had all the girls up in his house vying for his love. Like, what? What do you offer? What do you offer? Nothing. You offer nothing. You don't even got a good grade of hair. What are you talking about? I bet that's not even his hair. I bet he glued that shit on his head. Look at him. I bet he bald. He's bald, y'all. He's bald. And he don't even got that genuine. Yeah, like how you gonna sit up here and talk shit and you ain't even got no baby hers? Come on. <laughs> what made me upset is that he sat here on Instagram or TikTok, whatever, and told his baby, told his child. Don't ever get with a bitch like this. It's just the way he said it was so explicit. I'm like, who in their right mind will sit up here and tell their child something like that? And it's an infant, by the way. And the baby looking at him like, what? Disgusting. You don't, you need to deserve to, you deserve to be alone by yourself for a very long time. He needs to be by himself. He don't need to be with nobody. Period. He don't even love himself. And let's just be real. I know Creshawn got some problems, but Creshawn is more popular than Blueface. Come on, everybody invites Creshawn everywhere. Creshawn was hanging out with old, what is it? Old Puff Daddy, you know what I'm saying? And um, what is it? The City Girls and stuff like that. They loved her. They still connect with her. Creshawn is at every like little Hollywood party and stuff. Where Blueface at home scratching his balls, wondering why he's... um. Wonder why his breath stink. Nobody likes him. The only friend that Blueface got is Whack 100. That's it. Mm. <laughs> That's it. That ain't much. It really ain't. <laughs> Blueface ain't got no friends in the industry. Nobody wants to hang with him. Nobody. Do you see him um, bumping elbows with Future? Lil Uzi? <laughs> Yachty? He should. Right. They don't even want to hang out with him. And Future's just as trash. Drake just as trash. Right. And they don't even want to hang out with him. You're lonely, sir. You have nobody in the industry. Krishan got more connects than you. This nigga is jealous of his own girl. I don't, I'm not even going to say girl. Because you treat that you treat her like she's beneath you. And that's messed up. This is what he wants. He wants somebody who he can control that's beneath them. That he can like tell what to do because i feel really uncomfortable with her calling him daddy i'm like girl don't call him daddy oh not another monique i hate that like daddy Uh uh-uh i ain't about to call nobody daddy i don't even call my husband daddy i i don't it's just it's just if it is uncomfortable my daughter calls him daddy that's the only one she be calling him daddy that's it 
or my son. I'm not going to call this man daddy. Yeah, there's only one man on earth I'm obligated to call daddy, and we don't even talk, so yeah. Right. That's just weird. That's weird. I I already knew this relationship was doomed from the get-go because all they did was fight. It wasn't no regular fighting, like getting in their face, pointing fingers. These niggas out here fighting on the street, punching, kicking each other, all types of shit. I'm like, oh my God. It got crazy, yeah. It it did. I remember she had went to jail. I was like, Krishan, girl, no, don't do it. Um... And before all this happened, Krishana is a very beautiful woman. She did track and field. She was like a professional football player. Um, nice toned out body. The girl was cute, you know, and then she met him. I don't know what what kind of battery he put in this girl back, but it's just completely changed her. And I do think that he just like turned her into a full fledged alcoholic, had her drinking stuff like that and it was just sad to see her go downhill and I'm just like "Mm, mm, mm." and it's just not him there's a lot of men out there that are like that it's just that he's shown more in the public light yeah there's plenty of them that are no names that are broken miserable living in their mama's basement and it's crazy how those type be with the lawyers the doctors the nurses or whatever like they get high paying women because they're just that desperate just to have a man and they come in their lives the men ruin their lives or the women and they feel an accomplishment from that they feel like oh I, I brought her down so she can know her place and I'm the man and all that type of stuff there's a lot of them that act just like that it really do like like let's, let's think about this like this shit was happening like back in like to the 20s, 30s, 50s, 60s, especially in the 50s. This is why a lot of women in the 60s was poisoning their husbands because their husband would come home from their job, expect their supper to be on the table, the kids to be all right and this, that, whatever. The wife is supposed to weigh a certain type of weight and they're supposed to look a certain way and if they don't do that, their husband would beat shit out of them on the side. Don't let that old, like, 1950s, 60s shit fool y'all. You know, like the leave it to beaver and father knows best type shit. No, 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 no. (laughs) That happy-go-lucky shit was not what you thought it was. My mama told me back in the day, these men, especially the white men, these men would actually come home. You have a nice, like, house, ranch-style house, 3.5 kids, a dog, a cat, the yard and everything. And it looks nice on the outside. This nigga will go out with his boys and drink, come home and beat the shit out of his wife. So, yeah, it wasn't all glitter and gold back then. Even now, there's a united front that happened like, oh, we're a nice family, and then shit to go home behind closed door. But now, well, actually now, <laughs> in this age, people are more uh, vocal about their abuse. Ooh, excuse me, abuse in their relationships, which is just like, oh wow, you really want to put this out here on the internet? And people I heard, some people glorify that stuff like, if my man don't slap me once a week, he don't love me. Girl, ain't no fucking way. Yeah, there are some dummies out there that want to be disrespected, that want to be called out their name, that wants to be cheated on and abused. I'm like, girl, you need some help. Right. Ain't no way I'm about to let somebody slap me in my mouth and kick me and stuff. Are you crazy? I like my life. And you know, and then when there's children involved, it's even worse. Because the kids don't deserve to see anything like that. They don't deserve to see they stuff like that. thinking that's okay to do. And then the cycle, the cycle just continues. The cycle continues. And it's a sad, sad situation. And I, I just like, mm-mm. I, I told myself, if if and when the time and the Lord allow me to meet somebody, I pray that, you know what I'm saying, we don't live in a household where we fight and there's just so much negativity that, you know, I don't want to live 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 a life where I, the life I grew up in my mom and my dad fought but they never he my, my dad hit my mama one time 
And that was the last time he hit her. The last time he went to jail for that. I remember the day. I, I, I never witnessed nothing like that in my life. That really kind of like shook me because I'm like, wow, why would you do that to somebody? So that kind of like scared me. And I was afraid that I would get in a relationship with somebody that would, you know, hurt me and put their hand on me like that. So now I'm just like, you know, I'm glad that's never happened and that I'm with somebody that's never put their hand on me or talk down to me or talk at me. We talk to each other. One thing we never do, we never argue in front of our kids. Never argue in front of our kids. I Don't do that. If you're in a relationship and you have kids, don't argue in front of your kids. Don't argue in front of your kids and don't use your kids in the argument talking about, oh, if these kids, don't do that. Don't do that. Because mm. if you if them kids hear that, it's going to fuck them kids up. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because if you didn't want kids, you shouldn't have had them in the first place. Don't do that. You're messing up them kids' psyche by doing that. But um, we never argue from the kids. We'll have a disagreement. We'll talk about talk it out. Be like, okay, we good. But don't argue in front of your kids, man. That's just that's just awful. And I don't know what's gonna happen with this baby. I hope she keeps it because it's messed up that this man really sat up here and publicly said that he would make this girl go crazy. That he makes her lose the baby. In my opinion, that's that's premeditated murder especially to an unborn child. Yeah. So you openly admit that you want this girl, baby, to die. Your child. And you yeah, sit, that part. And then you sit up here saying it's not your child. Um, No, that's your child. That girl is infatuated with you. She only wants you. And you only. So what are you talking about? Yeah, talking about, oh, I don't want to do do, baby. Like, what? That's sick. That's sick. And you up here, this man, y'all remember that time he was out here doing these these boxing matches? And I'm like, he's boxing for what? Why are you boxing? Sit down. I don't, I just, I don't understand why women gravitate themselves to him there's absolutely nothing <laughs> he offers nothing just just look at him i don't he in my opinion he's not he's he's not handsome to be and he looks he has a crazy look in his eye that time when he got arrested for them gun charges it looked like he just got through crying in his mug shot mm. in my opinion he is a scary person because this grown man put his hand on women before he could do it with a man. Because he hit Krishan's daddy. That's an older man. I want to see you fight a real man since you want to put your hand on women and older men. Let me see you fight a real man. Right. You ain't going to yeah, do it. A man your age and your body size or even bigger that got strength. I bet he wouldn't. He, he don't even got the goods. That man will start crying and run away talking about let Krishan do it for me. Mm. That man has no guts. He has no guts. And I'm going to pray for the child that's around now because whew. And, and it's a pretty baby too. Very beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. But I just... This whole relationship was doomed from the beginning. Doomed from the beginning. I, I just don't like. Can we even call it a relationship? Because it seemed like a bunch of manipulating energy there. It don't even seem like a relationship. Yeah, you're right. It's just it. It looks like just. I don't even know. Is it? It, it would you describe it as a situationship? Either as, yeah, situationship and entanglement. Uh, you know, master and slave type of thing, or chess piece move, or something like that. Anything but relationship, cause there ain't no love there. At least not on blue ball side, right? And I, I want to talk about his mama for a minute. His mama, his mama's weird. Like I said, his mama wants to, you know, fuck her son. I said it. She wants to. 
And um, she has made it vocal. And I'm, I'm going to give y'all an example. She had the nerve one day, y'all. It was her Instagram. She don't need no Instagram. Lord, take the internet from her too. She had the nerve to sit up here and say that her man's dick was bigger than her son. Ma'am, how do you know how big your son's penis is? How would you know that? How would you know well, that? Well, you should have started looking at that by the time he was able to change his own diaper. Like, why? I'm just like, girl, why would you even put that out there? That is disgusting. I I just, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there's those type of women, like you said, black mothers that like husbands, you know, like they want their son to be their husband and they just... They want to do all types of things to them, and they see an, a girl coming through their life as a competition instead of being happy. Like, oh no, I can't have them take my son away. No, that's my son. She's weird. She is just super weird. That's something I wouldn't put out there online. Like, she's always made like these sexual innuendos towards her son anyway and I'm just like I'm thinking in my mind did something happen to you as a kid for your mama to keep saying this because it seems like is she just putting it out there like oh I don't want nobody else with him because she did it she did it to the first baby mama too mm-hmm. the first, so she don't want no woman right she, she don't want nobody around him so I'm like, I'm probably thinking that something happened in his childhood or something leading up to that for her to be like that. Either way, it's nasty. Yes. It's just nasty. And I'm just like, ma'am, you you really don't need to be up here <laughs> mentioning things of that nature. This is just their whole family just makes me uncomfortable, period. Very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. And then on the, on the other hand, you got Krishan family. Well, Krishan, she 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 loves her mama. She wants her mama to get better because her mama's crackhead, you know. And I know that's hard for her. And I know her mama's looking at this shit like, what the hell? Why is my daughter in this situation? Like, why is she here? And I, I shoot if I if my I've child look. It's a hard, better never catch yourself in this situation. I'm going to catch a case. Point blank, period. Like this We're going to have to pull up. For real. Like, I'm going to have to... I ain't even going to have no ski mask on. I'm going to look this nigga dead in his face. I'm going to be like, what's up? Put your hand on my daughter one more time. It's not even... I'm, I'm going to have to take her away from him. And I, don't, I know she wouldn't do that anyway because she's got a good support system. She's got a good daddy. She's got, you know, a brother... She's got multitudes of aunties and uncles that don't play about her. She's got a mother-in-law who has her who carries with a license. <laughs> I seen that thing. Here, her grandma got the stick. <laughs> with her. So we don't play about her. Even with my son, like I don't want him to get into a relationship where is a was abusive and they don't know their self worth and whatnot because they should know it. You know what I'm saying? And no, well, no one yeah. needs to be in a relationship like this. And then this day and age, on the interwebs, you got young people that glorify this stuff. Like I said earlier, they're like, ooh, I want a man like this. Y'all, no! The ghetto life ain't it! Exactly. Like, enough of that rot or die nonsense. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. You don't want nobody coming home slapping you, calling you all types of bitches and tricks in front of your kids. So that's not cute. That's not cute. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm afraid for her. I don't know. I don't know where she's at right now. I don't know if she's at home with him. And oh yeah. Oh, so basically they were he out of her talking about oh she didn't do the laundry and she was, you know, had the clothes everywhere and he just dogged the hell out this girl. First of all, the woman is pregnant. She's on her first trimester. That first trimester is hell. You are tired. You are also basically 
you're just tired, you have no energy, you, you, you're, you're scatterbrained, very scatterbrained, um, you're high risk for certain things such as pre, pre clamasia. you can get it after birth, actually, and, um, yeah, that's a very scary time, all you need to do around that time, you have to relax, you have to take it easy, because those first, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, those first six weeks, are very, very, it's a very serious time. You got to relax because you, you can't stress yourself too much or you'll miscarriage around that time. So I can understand her not wanting to like do the laundry and stuff. Like, damn, like, nigga, you, you supposedly rich. How are you a maid? How are you a maid? You don't need to call her out about that. And that, and I seen the video of her crying and you could tell this girl was absolutely hurt. She was hurt. She was hurt by it. And I'm like, girl. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm looking at this video. I'm like, she's starting to realize this nigga ain't, ain't about shit. She realized he ain't about shit. And it, it sometimes it takes just stuff like this to make you realize niggas like this ain't shit. And I'm glad she's realizing it. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute, but she's going to get there. I am glad that she does have people in her corner that want to see her succeed out there. So I'm glad that, you know, she's got that support. But I just, this dude is just, just he's just trash, man. Yeah, but it looks like they may have made up because they were just on live together not too long ago, maybe a day or so, so... It looks like she may have went back. It's it's gonna take it's gonna take something for her to actually I don't know what it's gonna take, but it's gonna have to take something for her to to understand this this ain't it. This ain't it. And that's really sad. That's really sad. But like she said, she got herself into this mess. She got yep. herself into it. And I'm like, yeah, you, you sure did. You, you sure did. I don't know what else to say. It's just a sad situation. And I'm going to pray for her, but, you know. And you know what's messed up? It's going to take, it's really going to take something very serious and severe to happen for her to actually just get up and leave. And I hate to say that. You're right. I hate to say that. And I know that's messed up to say, but it's it's, it's going to take that. It's going to take that. And when it does, she's going to look back and be like, I should have been stopped. I should have been stopped. And I'm just like, well, we tried to tell you, but she's grown. It's on her uh, next that she, she has to take these steps, the next steps for herself to go ahead and figure out what she want to do unfortunately but um on the bright side of things even, even though we're not talking about um uh, this is separate from what we're talking about black china i'm extremely proud of black china black china took her fillers out she took the lip fillers out she took um the the butt injections out even you know her 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 breast implant, she took them out. She said, this is, she even deleted her OnlyFans. She's like, this, she said, this is not it for her no more. She said, this, she, she said she wants to try, she wanted, she wants, she wants to be in a better space. She said that it's, she said OnlyFans is a dead end. All that stuff is dead, is a dead end. I know that I'm way more than I'm worth. I thought that's what's up. I thought I thought that was up right there. And I'm proud of her, man. Like she she's just like it's not worth it no more. And she looked cute before she got all that stuff in her face. I don't know why she got it. She did. I, I, she had them she got them she had these cute dimples. She already had her adult. I'm like, Angela, why you get all that stuff? But but when you look back and think on it and then you see who her mama is, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Cause her mama is absolute trash. Her mama's trash. Her mama is jealous. 
her mama is a horrible individual. Horrible individual. Her mama sat up here, just dog her out. Let me tell you what her mama said one day. Tony, she, <laughs> Tony, please put down the pipe. This woman said that, oh, she's in the Illuminati right now. <laughs> she done drunk some blood. And that they done initiated her. And she said, Oh my goodness. And she said, The only way, because I told you, remember, she said, The only way I can get up to Black China is I need two pit bulls and a handgun. I'm like, What? She is too much. I cannot. Like, poor China. She got no real support. She, she really don't. Like, what the hell? Why would you say, What? Why are you so jealous of your daughter? She is so jealous. She's very jealous of her daughter. Very jealous of her and her success. I'm like, Tokyo, can you be quiet and go back serving the homeless food like you used to do? But she don't do that no more. I don't know. They probably like got tired of her. She's probably stealing the food. <laughs> I'm sorry. Her mama used to be on Instagram doing stupid stuff. Like, she still do stuff. That lotion video still traumatized me. Oh, my, oh my goodness. God. Oh, I can't believe she did that. That and then she's a DoorDash driver now, and she. Be I wouldn't want her nowhere near my food. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for the people in the DC area because ain't no way that I, I want her near my food either. And she be driving around. She drives around high as a kite, too, dropping off people food. And she said, this is what she said. She said recently that she was, ooh, excuse me, she was going to drive to California and go to Black China House, jump over the fence and kick her door in. I do believe, I do believe Black China has no contact and she has a restraining order against you, ma'am. I think you need to stop that. I think you need to stop that because I actually seen the interview, not an interview, them talking to a therapist. The therapist was just a joke. He wasn't even helping. And the way her mama was talking to her was just terrible. Terrible. Her mom's very jealous of her. Very jealous of her. And I think she's mad because she won't let, let she won't let Tokyo see King or um, Dream. And I don't blame her. Them kids are well taken care of and they look happy. And if they're anywhere around their grandmama, especially her, ain't no way. They look like they're more happy mm -hmm. with Chris. Chris than um than her. And she looks like she smells yes, like she and she looks like she smells like <laughs> backwoods and black and miles. There was this one video that she did on her live. And she was talking all this stuff, and then her stomach started growling. All, everybody in the comments like, did you eat today? <laughs> she says weird. She, okay. I'm going to give y'all some examples of the stuff this woman says, because it doesn't, it makes no sense. Something's wrong with her. She'll stay in her car, and she'll start saying stuff. Let's see. Tokyo Tony, there's a whole thing for her. Let's see. Let's see. And then she's mad. Then she got mad about Black China and her surgeries and stuff like that. Her, you know, finally removing everything. Her mom gets mad about that. Why are you so angry? Shouldn't you be happy that she's embracing her natural self again? Right. Like, what is your problem? I'm I mean, before she got all that work done, she looked just like you. Shouldn't you be happy? Right. Like just you you really want to have beef with your own child. You're weird. Like you're weird. Let's see. Um Let me see. God, this woman is just this the way she looks scares me because I'm just like this lady is just a hot mess. Is this OG Tokyo? Is this her? I think this is her account. I don't even want to go to the real account. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to go to the real account. Where are we at? Let's see. You have a nasty little attitude, mama. You got a bad attitude. You really do. 
and I really don't give two fucks about it. You work in this motherfucker, sis. Should have got educated, bruh, or stayed fuck where you from. Nigga, the fuck? Playing with her bitch ass. What's his name? Being a rude ass bitch. What's his name? Is what the fuck you are, ho. Way it up, bitch. Being a rude ass bitch. Funky ass, nothing ass, ho. The fuck time you get off, bitch. Fuck wrong with you. Nobody told your pussy ass to work at KFC with your nasty hands, bitch. You cooking food, grabbing food and money. You nasty hoe. Fucking nasty bitch. Excuse me. Now back to what I was doing. Now she went to the KFC and did all that at the drive-thru. Oh my goodness. KFC? At the KFC. Yeah, she was at Popeye's acting like that. Someone came out through the door and got her ass by then. The show so, is. Okay. Show would. They would have yeah. jumped her right there on the spot. So she was lucky to be drive, drive away alive that night at the KFC. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm just like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I don't know what's wrong with her. She, she, <laughs> this, this woman is, is on some type of, I don't know. She's, she, and the, she's very transphobic. She's extremely transphobic, very homophobic. She has said some, just a lot of things. I don't like the woman. I think the woman is trash. I think the woman wants to be like Black China. She's mad that Black... I think... This is what I think. I think she's mad that Black China didn't take her with her when Black China got to where she was at today and Black China left her ass behind. That's why she's mad. And Black China, I don't blame you for doing that. At the end of the day, it's your mama. You love her. You can feel the way you want to feel about her. But at the same time, I think that Black China's like, no, I'm done. I'm healing. And that's what she's doing. She's doing. And... She's done with it. She ain't trying to deal with her mama no more. Her mama needs some help. Her mama need to just go back to DC where she was at in DoorDash and go ahead and do that. Cause Yeah, because she is out here embarrassing herself. Like Black China ain't even addressing her anymore. Right. Like, lady, why are you always in your car? <laughs> I be thinking does does Tokyo <laughs> does she live in her car? I mean, I think she got a place because I know the dude that she was with, she was like, I pay all the bills up in here. I'm like, okay, I guess you got a place then. But besides DoorDash, what exactly was she doing? What is her profession? I have no idea. How was she making I money? I didn't even know about the DoorDash thing until you said it. Like, I thought she was just out here being aggravating. No, nah, she had a, she has her DoorDash jacket on, no, her shirt <laughs> and her hat, and I'm like, this lady was working at DoorDash. Them poor people. Ain't no way. I'm glad I don't live in the D.C. area because I could have found a turd in my food. That's how crazy she looked. She would have spit in my stuff. Because if I wouldn't leave her a tip, she would have tipped me with some shit. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. DoorDash probably fired her by now. I don't know. She probably was an Uber driver. I don't know what she doing, but ain't no way. I, that woman is on another level of craziness. And I, I can't believe that that's black China mama. You looking at her, you probably think that's Azalea Banks mama. Yeah, I mean they want the same at this point because she definitely seemed like Azalea in the next 30 years. Right. Just cause she be coming after everybody, but nobody don't be paying her no mind. And I'd be like, dang, <laughs> like Tokyo, like go find you something to do, sis. Ain't nobody paying you no mind, sis. I don't know. Hot mess. This is a hot mess. Young people, I'm going to give y'all some advice out here. Y'all listening to me right now. Let me tell you some. Let me tell you some. Um, Love yourself before you love anybody else. And once you love yourself, you can go ahead and love somebody else. But know your worth also. Don't let nobody put their hand on you. Slap you upside the head call your names, talk down to you. You want somebody as your equal. You want somebody to treat you like you treat you want somebody to treat you 
good and they treat you the same back. It works both ways. You want to be in an environment where you feel safe. Your safety and your Okay, your mental health and physical health and safety are the most important thing in a relationship. If you don't have any of that stuff, you need to get out. It is not worth being with somebody that sit up here and kick you in the stomach 32 times a day to my love. I know I don't want to use this example, but Tina Turner, y'all, we seen the movie and I read up on the biopic and stuff like that. This woman was with this man for a long time. This man was hitting her. Beating her in front of her kids out here doing cocaine, all types of stuff, sleeping with other women. She stayed with him. She stayed with him. Raised his boys. When his um girl left him, he she raised his kids. And she stayed. And I hate to say it, but it took one good ass whooping for her to leave. She whooped his ass in that limo, though. That was a great scene. I was like, go get him. Get him. <laughs> she beat his yeah, ass, too. Probably fall back. I loved it. She had enough. Enough was enough. Don't don't wait till it's too late, man. There's people out here that can help you. We was looking at the Lifetime movie, man, about this guy. and She was in an abusive relationship. He was just beating her and stuff. And it was before they could stop it. It was too late. He already done killed her. And put her body in the lake. And the judge was yeah. like, and the judge said that the friends were just as much as to blame because they sat there and they absolutely said and did nothing. If you know your friend is in an abusive relationship and you don't sit down and do nothing, you are just as much as to blame. The mama is too. Because the mama sat there and didn't do nothing at all. They're all trash. That's why you ask your friend or you or your like your daughter or your or your or your son like, hey, something going on? Do you need some help? Let me know. I got you. Don't don't sit up there and not say nothing to your friend. But if you're in a relationship like that and and it's just hard, you can go to people and talk to somebody. Go to police. Don't wait till it's too late. Get you some help, man. There's people out here and there's resources, man, that can help people, man. I don't like seeing people in relationships like this. We got a nigga that out here that be whooping his girlfriend's ass across the street and they got kids, man. They don't know. And we can hear him, too. She stays with him. And it's sad. You can love somebody else. You can find somebody else. You don't have to stay with that person and they treat you like this, man. You can, you can go with somebody else, man. And that's all I wanted to say. Love yourself before you love somebody else. Because there's somebody else to you, for you that will love you and protect you and treat you right. But anyway, it's time to get off here. Um, we're your hosts. I'm Gigi. And I'm Y'all have a good night. And we love y'all. And yeah, y'all have a great week. We'll see y'all tomorrow night. Good night. <laughs>